So if you've watched me last video, you'll know that I've been away for quite a while and you'll know the reasons why. And if you haven't watched it, then I'll leave it linked down below. But basically, um, I'm going to be starting off by filming a week in my life. So there'll only be one video um, for now because I'm going to put it all in one video. So I'll be filming Monday, which is today, all the way to Sunday in one vlog. And it'll just be a general week in my life so today i'm actually going out with my mum she's in work at the minute but um we're gonna meet up together um and we're gonna go to costa and then bowling um while the boys are in school so that'll be nice um i've just got myself all ready and i'm gonna go and make myself some lunch soon i'm having an early lunch i'm just wearing this cute green coward it's just a ribbed set it's a little high necked um jumper and leggings they're quite thin just to hide them up there and i've got some little gray shoes on just from st john's i'm in my bedroom now gonna have some chaffa cakes before i have to get ready to leave it was freezing downstairs so i've had to come upstairs because i need to stay warm as you can see i'm all ready now to go out i've got my coat on and i've wrapped up in this little scarf it's usually longer than this but i've made it quite short um because i wanted to wrap it around my neck here got my bus money here i'm gonna walk over and get the bus in a minute I've got my keys and i'm gonna be off in a minute so i don't really know if there'll be much to film like obviously while i'm on the way there because i'm just sat on a bus like it's boring but once i get there obviously there'll be like quite a bit to film because we're having like a fun little afternoon together i'm now off the bus it wasn't too long of a journey it was actually all right but now i'm just walking down because i'm gonna go to costa with my mum So we're at Costa, this is what we ordered. We got Energize in a sun smoothie. This is mine because I'm not well. And then mum got a caramel hot chocolate, I got normal. And then these two little desserts. And we're just gonna sit here and enjoy them. She's just gone to the toilet. But this is mine, it's really hot at the minute. I'm gonna have this, like I said, just make me feel a bit better maybe. It's got all these fruits on. We're now at the actual retail park. We just finished our Costa. And it was really nice, we had a good little chat. And we're now walking along to Card Factory and then the works. I want to get myself a little notebook. Oh my god, my cheek is quite red, isn't it? It's like I'm being punched. I want to get myself a little notebook for my YouTube planning. And mum needs to go into Card Factory, so I'm going to do that. Oh my god, look at this, guys. I'm going to show you. Little dog mannequin thing. Cute got myself a little basket i bought these make your own dream catchers they look really good they're only one pound fifty here they are um i'm not really sure how you do them obviously i'll show you later or whenever i do them but i just got one for me and one for carter because we can do that together and i absolutely love the works there's so much like little craft you can do it's just really good i love all my coloring as well i've got quite a lot like this is like the choice they've got at the minute i thought i'd show you literally five pounds for most of them. You've got all your crossword puzzles as well. Just 
finished our first game. I don't know if we're going to do another one or not, but we just walked over to the arcade part and we're going to play some air hockey. So this is air hockey, yeah. We've just got ourselves some sweet as well, we found it. And we're just on these sweet machines trying to win the rubber duck for no reason. Um, but yeah, we just have a game of air hockey and I think we're going to win both of them. Hollywood diner and me and my mum are gonna have some food. She's just washing her hands. Um, I think we're gonna go for the any free for £12.50 but I kind of want fries and onion rings and I don't know if you can get them on there. We ended up going for some large fries to share and then a little bowl of onion rings. We're just waiting for some sauce to get brought over and then we'll cook into this. It's Tuesday now, it's the next day and yesterday I didn't end up filming anything after the bowling because I just felt so ill and my whole face was just aching. I've just had a shower and got myself basically ready for the day. I'm going to Chester tonight. My boyfriend goes to uni there, so going to see him for a few days. And right now I need to dry my hair and then I'm gonna do like my teeth and skincare, straighten my hair, and then at quarter past four, I'm getting my eyelashes done. But luckily she comes to the house, so. It's okay, I don't have to go anywhere for that. And I need to pack my case actually, I haven't packed any of that. And I'm like fully aware I'm talking out my nose because I've got a bit of a sore throat. I had my lunch before, I had tomato soup and bread and a Maltese cake bar. So basically so sorted. This is my dream catcher. It's just a plain white one. It's got little silver and white beads on and some feathers at the bottom. It's not the best, but it's the best I could do, so. Now I'm going to go and get ready for my lashes because she should be here in about 15 minutes. I just thought I'd show you because I've finished packing my case. This is for two nights and three days and this is the kind of stuff that I pack in it. Just to give you an idea of the layout and the amount of things that I take with me. I finished doing my hair and getting dressed now. I'm wearing this little Under Armour running top. I've just got some black leggings on and... Yeah, I'm gonna wear some grey shoes and my grey para jumper just there. Um, this is my eyelashes, you can probably tell, look a bit different now. So I have my eyelashes done, I got hybrids, they were £40. Um, and yeah, got me little earrings in from Warren James that someone I work with got me. And I'm just gonna go in and out for some scrambled egg because the boys are having toast of it, but I don't want toast because I'm thinking that's just gonna hurt when I swallow it. There's literally barely anyone on the train now. We've just came to be. So we're one stop away from where I need to be. And that's gonna be in like two minutes. So yeah, as you can see, it's like barely anywhere on the train. Doug's gonna meet me there and then we'll go back to his accommodation and we'll have something to eat. Where I've just got on and Doug will be waiting for me. Um sort of over here if I zoom in. Like where that Coca-Cola thing is, like on the other side of that. So yeah, got my suitcase. Me and Doug are just about to have our tea. He's made themselves spaghetti bolognese and garlic bread. But I'm just having pasta and sauce and garlic bread because I don't really like them. And he's also put some cheese on his. Um, but yeah, he went to Aldi before and just got like a few bits. Just in. had a bit of an issue in Doug's accommodation room. There was dust behind the bed and we had to hear for it. It's like one in the morning, but it needed to be done. So that's what we've just been doing. Like, I wish I could have filmed it. We were literally like, we had to get one of his mates in and we had to like move the bed out and then pull it back in. And then we just hoovered the whole room just to be careful. <laughs> and then I've just Febrezed the bed on the curtain because it's just scary, like dust. Um, and then I open the window and just put some air freshener in the room. It's all sorted now. Everything's fine. I can go to sleep now. 
I'll see you tomorrow. Don't you know? Don't you know? It is getting low. It is getting hard. So much. All pink and purple. It's the next day. I haven't filmed anything hardly. Um, it's about half eleven. It's Thursday. Um, I feel like I've barely filmed anything this week, but you know, it's fine. So yesterday, after I've been to the crap place, you've seen that I went to Primark, and I'll do a little haul stay of what I've got. It's just like a few things, well, 15, 60 pound worth of things. Um. But yeah, um, I went to Primark with OC and Kate, two of my friends from Doug's uni, and then we ended up coming back. Um, later on, we went to the SU bar, which is the student union bar, and student union, student union bar, and then we got a drink there. And then when the bar closed, we decided to leave, and we went back to OC's accommodation, and we just played some games there. We played something called Buzzed. Um, you basically take a drink every time something applies to you. Um, and then we did a little bit of karaoke. We got in about half one-ish. Um, and then we just had something small to eat and went to bed, really. Um, I'm just watching Brogan Tate now. Um, she's one of my favourite YouTubers. And I think we're going to go back out into the town centre soon because Doug's got a job interview next week, so he needs to get some clothes for that. Um, but before we go out, we'll probably have a little bit of lunch. I need to get a shower and get ready. Um... But yeah, I'm sorry I didn't really film anything yesterday. Obviously, I was just having like a nice time. Um, and then on Sunday, I think I'm going to be coming back and doing another little games night with them. But I'll see how I feel. But I think that should be the plan. I'm going back home to Liverpool today. Um, I'll get the train like later on. And then I'm in work tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday daytime. Um, and then, yeah, that's about it. But I'll try and film what I can for you because I know that I've like barely filmed anything. I'm going to show you what I got from Primark. This is the first thing that I got yesterday. It was only £2.50 and I thought it would be perfect for summer because that's just my style, my colour, pink. At the back it just ties up like that and I just think that's a really good price for what it is. This is just the bottoms for them. They just match and they have the little ties on the hip. I got this little set. I thought it was cute. It's like the viral set except this one's like a vest kind of version and um, it does still have the bottoms it looks like a kind of like Fendi design this was six pounds and then I picked myself up this little pajama top I thought you could actually wear this even in the summer to go out but it just looks like this now obviously it's a pajama top but you can just wear that with like shorts or something it's a nice lilac color and this was six pounds and it's got the little lace design on it's just ribbed Grats face cloths. This was £3.50 and you get three face cloths. The washable. I got myself this, not in the mood, juicy watermelon room sachet. So you put it in like your underwear drawer or pillowcases or whatever. I usually put it in my underwear or pajama drawer, but I like the design. It's like very like summery. I then got a Care Bear pen because I'm a child and it was pink. Two pounds, some scrunchies. I thought these matched the bikini and also I'm always looking for scrunchies for work or to tie my hair up when I'm doing my skincare or in the shower. And it's all pink and purple colours. Um, so they were really nice and yeah, they were two pounds. Then got myself some pyjamas. This is the top. I wanted these since before Valentine's Day. It's a little bit cropped, but it's like slightly. And then it's got the frill on. The sleeves are just long and it is like a thin material, but it feels so comfy. This thing, this set all together was, is the ticket in here? The whole set was £12. The matching shorts, the elasticated and you can adjust them by tying this and they're also frilled. This bag, oh my god, fell in love. This was the first thing I picked up in the shop. So you can just use it as like a little shoulder bag. I just thought that was really cute. I've got loads of bags like this, but with the heart, little chain on, I thought it was so nice. And I think it was £9. Yeah, £9. And there was a whole pink section when we walked in the shop. I just had to get it. It's like a patent leather kind of design. And then inside, it's got the strap. So if you want to use along the strap, and there's loads of space in there. 
and also a zip-up pockets. I got this which was £3. Thought that would be nice in the summer to tie around your pony. I've got this little crop top. Um, it's not too cropped. It looks quite small but it's fine. This was £5, so a really good price. And I just really liked the shades of pink it is. You can't really tell. Let me try and put the brightness up. You'll be able to tell a little bit more. That just didn't work, did it? I just... That looks really bad. And it just says Hamptons Sports Club with the little tennis rackets on. And I think the pink and green goes really well together. A candle. I bought this purely for the tin because the design is like a purple heart design and it's in the scent Lilac Blossom. It says it's got up to 10 hours burn time. Just looks like that. Just a small whiff. But you can proper smell it like as soon as you open the tin. It's like, just hit you. Got myself... All ready for the day, I'm wearing this pink jumper from Sheen. It's one of my favourites. Some plain black leggings and socks. And then I've got my necklace, ring and earrings in, of course. We're just on a walk now. We're going to get some stuff for Doug's interview. But I just thought I'd show you. This is the little canal, but it's part of it. If you zoom in, you can see like the motorway down there. But it's a little bridge. It's like you can get to the um, city walls through here. I think we're going to go to Primark and then Lush, but that's Sky. So pretty. Love you. This is just like a little row. It's like cute. This is where the red line is. It's a pub there everyone goes to. It has like quizzes and stuff. But I just walking from here. It's so cute. I'm like a villagey. From down here. Little streets like this. Like you're in Cornwall. <laughs> So we're just walking towards the Chester Cathedral, we're not going down this way but I just thought I'd show you So basically this is where Doug will be graduating There's a little bottle rhino outside of it so you know that'll make a great graduation picture yeah, maybe. It'll probably be confined. Um, this is just the entrance to it, and then you've got a few little shops down here. But we're going to turn back around. Gonna take a little turn. And we're going to go down the other path because I think there's a few more things I can show you down there. It's a bit cuter. This is what I was showing you before. I just thought it was a nice building. But Doug's taken the mic out of me saying that it's a community safety centre. And oh, this weird statue. I have to show you that, guys. Oh, it's so strange. We're just about to go into Lush now. I want to see if they've got the um, face masks that I used to get when I was younger. So heading on into the right now. Oh, it smells gorgeous. I ended up picking up two mini bubble bars, which came to £6, which is not bad at all. Because you can get one big bath bomb for that price. The little carrot ones for Easter. And they like have like the string, there's like a carrot and everything. And the pink, obviously, because I picked up the pink ones. Or you could get it in a bunch, I think. I was looking for a chocolate face mask, but I couldn't find it. So unless it's been discontinued, I might look in the Liverpool one. We're in Primark now. We're just going up to the top level because, as I said, Doug needs to get some interview clothes. Um, but yeah, so we'll have a look what they've got. Hopefully they'll have something for them. That is the cutest. I know we are in the kids, but that would fit me. We're just walking to Aldi. It's like nine o'clock. It's only five minutes away, so we thought we'd just walk down and get some bread rolls to go with the soup that we think we're having for tea. We also need some more soup because we've only got one tin in. And we're going to get some these little salted caramel cheesecakes that Aldi do. They're so nice. And they come in little glass tubs. So when you've had them, you can wash out the tubs and use it for like side dishes to put things in. They're only small, but like sauces and stuff, which is really good. We're nearly at the shop now. Um, also, I'm all wrapped up. As you can see, it's quite cold. We've turned the heating up so that when we get back, the room will be all nice and warm. And we can just get some pyjamas on and eat our tea. I think we're going to watch Outer Banks because that's the series we're watching together. And obviously I go home tomorrow. Actually, guys, I didn't even update you. I didn't even update you. I'm staying for an extra night. And then I'm heading off early tomorrow because I'll have work. But this is the scarf I got for Christmas. I'm all over the place right now. But it's really fluffy. It's a proper chunky knit scarf and that's about it 
don't know if I'll film anything inside the shop, but I think these are all updated for now and I'll let you know whenever I let you know. Not gonna lie, I might be stupid, in fact I am, but I always think that this picture of the two people on the wall is actual people and I always get scared to death. Picked up a four pack because it was the only Heinz one there and I didn't really, like I didn't really mind, but I didn't want to go for the, um, oh we need to get the cheesecakes from the fridge aisle. Didn't really want to go for the Aldi zone just because I've never tasted it. Doug's gone off in a completely different direction to me now. In goes the cheesecakes. Oh jeez, I just walked into the thing. <laughs> Doug's amazed over changing octopus, even though he's seen the ones I have at home millions of times. Come on, we're moving on. Let's go for once, it's not me. He's sad. Cute. He's not sad, leave him. Jesus Christ. We're making our way to the bread aisle. I'm leaving him and his changing octopus behind. Get a moody over a ciabatta roll. Oh. Is it a ciabatta or a ciabatta? Ciabatta. Okay. My mum got something like this, but it's from a different kind of company. Um, and they're quite nice. So I'm going to opt for them for my breakfast. And then the rest I can just leave when, at the house when I go back home. See if our favourite woman's in. I've just got home from Chester. I'm a little bit late because a few of the trains were cancelled and delayed and there was just all weird stuff going on with them. I've just got myself changed, ready for work. This is my work clothes. Well, I don't have like a uniform. I work in a um, cafe, so I've just got this little Nike run on top on. Some Nike leggings, Pyrenex and a little red scarf from Primark. I need to hurry up because I'm like an hour late. I just got home from work, ignoring all the lumps and bumps in my hair, but I'm about to get in the shower, so I just thought I'll quickly tie it up. I'm not washing it today, I just need to get a quick shower. So I'm in my nice fluffy dressing gown. I've missed being home, actually. Um, Work was really busy. And then, like, the last half an hour was quite quiet, so we left about ten minutes early. But my cough is just worsening. Getting stuck in that kitchen. I thought I'd quickly show you the project book that i bought at the works the other day when i went to bowling with my mum it's just this one it's a pucker pad it was six pound fifty as you can see and it's a b5 project book so you can see it has all the little dividers at the side there i like it when a book has that and you can label them and then i think it's just yeah lined pages and it's got this flowery print on i wanted like a proper pink one but i couldn't find one so i'm going to open this up when i get out of the shower and i'll show you if there's anything interesting inside and i also just got this cute little pen from the card factory it's just a really pale pink with little like crystal ball design on the top for now plan is get a shower and get pajamas on because i need to be cozy after that day at work all finished in the shower and as you can see i've plaited my hair i love plaiting my hair especially when i'm just getting cozy in pajamas but i've got a few tasks to do so i need to put away some washing that my mum left for me and i also need to put on my bed bed on set i need to put on the pillowcases sheet and duvet cover and I'm in these really cute Bell Avenue pyjamas. They were my Christmas ones like two years ago. They're so nice. And after I've done the little jobs I need to do, I'm having pasta and sauce for tea because my mum gets this um, jar of sauce. It's called Lloyd's and it's like bacon and tomato and it's really nice. It has bits of bacon in. And then I'm going to do some uni notes because I need to catch up on them because quite far behind and i'm also filming a separate youtube video tonight which will have already gone up before you see this one hi everyone it's saturday and it's the 4th of march today the month is already literally going so quick like even though it's only the fourth day like how is it like the 4th of march already i'm just gonna go and get some breakfast in a minute and another lemon and honey drink because it's not lemon if i usually like make my own kind of thing so I'm in the kitchen now. It's a bit loud because the washing machine, so but hopefully you can't hear that too much. I'm going to show you the drink that I make. So, I literally just put lemonade in. I could just do a lemon but this is what I like. So, I just pour that in like that. This is the honey I use. It's the 
Rouse Super Honey with Manuka and Vitamin C. So I'm just going to put the lemonade in there. Right? And then I'm going to go over to the microwave and put it in for one minute. That's now done. I don't know if you can see the steam coming out of a, a bowl. That much. Looks like a lot more than it actually is. I'm going to mix it up so it's not just all stuck at the bottom. And so that I don't get any like big lumps of honey. Oh dear. I just spilled it all over the side. Back to our stone. I'm just going to squeeze some of this juice into it. Oh, I accidentally put a seed in. <laughs> it's not going well today. Myself some waffles for breakfast. So while that's cooling down, I'm going to make myself some waffles. There's eight in a pack, so I'm going to have to turn. And these are the McFitties waffles. They come inside the packs of two, which is good because there's four of us in our house. And it's all sealed up. So that once you open this pack up, they're not all going to get. I'm also going to put on some Nutella. Usually I just have them plain. Why is the side all sticky? Is that off the honey? I'm going to lay down this tea towel. I'm just going to pop them in the microwave for like 20 seconds. I'm going to try my drink. Yeah, that tastes good. And I'm just going to spread on the Nutella. It's a bit hard because I left these in for so long. They're not soggy, but they're like really soft. Finished work and I'm in B&M now. So just thought I would show you that's what I'm up to at the minute. So I've come home from the shops and from work and Cars has done this absolutely amazing picture. Hold it up for them to see. And I thought you was doing a colouring competition, didn't I? And it's not even for a colouring competition. How amazing is that? It's a spring picture the Nan give you them. I thought so. And he's watching his Minecraft video and he's just chilling, aren't you? And also I got you a little treat from the shop. I've just finished getting ready for work. It's nine o'clock and I've cleaned my eyelashes this morning just with this Garnier makeup remover, miscellaneous water. All I need to do now is open the blinds, put some spray on and have me breakfast. As you can see, I'm home from work. I've got myself all ready. I'm about to go to Chester. My skin looks awful. I'm going to sort that out when I get there. I think it may just be this light one. I don't know. It looks so oily. I need to sort it out because obviously the coffee makes it like that. But I've just got changed into the most random outfit ever. I'm waiting for my taxi. I've packed my suitcase, which is just down here and i've got a little bag of snacks and drinks and and stuff i've got my hat which is from sheen or primark pair of jumper juicy jacket is from jd and then plain black leggings from primark and the gray shoes i had on at the start of the video which are from st john's precinct and i've got my little pandora necklace pandora ring and warren james earrings so as i said waiting for a taxi i've just booked it on the app and the train takes about 45 minutes we're having a games and drinks night tonight so that'll be fun but once i get there i need to wash my hair and shave my legs before we go out i've got like a big choice of outfits i'll show you once i'm there and i'm all sorted i'm like boiling right now so it's sunday still it's the night and we're going out now and we're having drinks and games night with oc and kate and we're going to their house but there's going to be a few of us going a few little group of us and i'm already undressed this is my outfit i've got my mcqueens on this cute little bag i got from primark the other day you will have seen that earlier in the video and then this little set which i think is from pretty little thing ages ago we're ready to go now so i will see you soon it's a few days later and i need to go and get myself ready for the day but Today's the day that I upload this vlog, so I just wanted to come in the video here because I realised I hadn't ended it yet. I had a Monopoly night last night and I also went to Badminton and the pub to have a little pub dinner. So that was really nice, not that that's part of the weekly vlog, so you won't see that unfortunately. But I'm really excited to see what happens and where I go now with YouTube because I really enjoy it and I know I've been away for so long. I never ended up filming a video about me coming back to YouTube and everything. I'm just going to upload this, hope for the best. And I'm going to keep continuous with it because I really do enjoy it. And at the end of the day, if it makes me happy, just do it. And that's my advice to everyone else as well. If if people are judging, just 
don't let them get to you you've got to look at the bigger picture like are they gonna always be there and you know they, they don't matter so thank you so much for watching i'll be putting an update onto my instagram once this video is uploaded but you'll know if you're watching this don't forget to subscribe and like my video if you can and thanks so much for watching i will be back soon